eventually went 2-5 and five with a 4-4-0. 2-2. Kerstad clobbers it. Deep right field. This one sends Rodriguez jogging back, looking at the wall. There it goes. Heston Kerstad says goodbye. His second home run of the season, a solo blast here in the eighth. The Bay Sox back within one, it's 5-4. Kerstad, Eastern League high, tied for the double A high with four home runs, a 1-1 pitch. Swung on and belted. Deep to right center field. Escobedo back, he can only watch it go. It's gone. Heston Kerstad's done it again. Some of the rule changes that have really finally swept over baseball. 2-0 pitch is blasted in the air to center. Munguia running back to the warning track. Reaches up at the wall, but he can't make the catch. It's off the top of the wall, and it scampers away. Kerstad's headed to third. Around to score Teeter. Kerstad's in safely with the first triple of the season. The Bay Sox are on the board. It's 3-1. 1-2 pitch, and Kerstad clobbers it. Way out to right field. This one is gone. Oh, no, it's off the top of the wall. Oh, I got a little ahead of myself. Off of the glove of Witherspoon, but he's going to chase it down. Kerstad's going to go to third. I got into it. You got to admit, that was close enough. It's a triple for Kerstad. Come on, Andre, at least. I got to say, Ty Madden has really done an excellent job moving his pitches around the zone, wouldn't you say? Next pitch, lifted high and deep out to the left field corner. Cabrera jogging, looking. If it's fair, it's off the pole. Heston Kerstad says goodbye. His seventh home run of the season, another solo shot. And the Bay Sox get one back, it's 2-1. Starts with the left-handed hitting, Heston Kerstad against the right-hander Sawyer Gibson Long, still on the mound. First pitch, leaks towards left center field. Santana backing up towards the track, towards the wall. He looks up, it's gone. Back-to-back -back nights with an opposite field shot for Heston Kerstad. Left-handed batter and the windup in the first pitch is hit high in the air. Deep out to right center field. This one is going, and it is a home run. That ball off the railing above the fence out in right center field. And on the first pitch of the ball game, Dealton High School signed helmet as the ball was driven into the alleyway in right center field out to the 380 side. Kirstad is to second base. He turned second and is on his way to third, and there is no throw, and he has a triple. Wave is the right-hander ready. Looks back to second and delivers an off-speed pitch. Hit out in the right field on the line and splits the gap for a base hit. Rounding third is Teeter. He's coming home to score. Kirstad on his way to second as the throw comes in the tag. He is safe. A two-out RBI double off the bat of Heston Kirstad. McCarthy deals. Long drive. Right center. And that ball is off the batting eye high for a long home run by Kerstad. He's at it again against the Rubber Ducks. And the Bay Sox have a 5-2 lead. That's home run number 10. Lefty fires. Big breaking ball line drive. Base hit to right. Chasing down Holland. Kerstad for two. It's on the track. He turns, throws. Not in time. A two-out stand-up double. Wind up in the pitch. Breaking ball. Line drive. Right field. Base hit. Kerstad does it again, rounding. He holds up at first. I'm telling you. Against Akron now, 11 for 31 with five home runs. Smith ready, a check back in Romero. 1-1, one, one, ground ball, second base, diving play. Gets by Martinez, run will score. And the third base goes Florentino, the RBI single by Kerstad. The Bay Sox have a 6-0 lead. Just by the diving Martinez. Three hit night for Kerstad. Continues to just pulverize Akron pitching. 3 2. Driven out towards center field. Florial on the move back, still on the run. It's off of his glove, knocked down. And Kerstad may not have touched first. He's going to end up at first base. Wow. This is Sky deep to center field. Flo holds up his hands, looking for it in the twilight. He can't find him. It's about 20 feet behind him. Heading for third is Kerstad, and he is coming home. The throw in, not in time. Kerstad, the number 49 ranking prospect in all of baseball. 2-2 two -two pinch, hit in the air, into right, drifting back on it. Sogard, warning track, wall looking up. That one's off the fence. Kerstad with great speed. Rounding second, heading for third, and sliding in without a play. A triple off the right field fence, off the bat of Heston Kerstad. Uh, Kerstad has fabulous speed, and he was around the bases so quickly there, no chance for a play. Heston Kerstad, one for three, with a triple and a run scored. At bat down, 
Here's a ground ball down by third, and with the infield playing Kerstad to pull, nobody was near that third base bag, and the ball goes into the outfield. Kerstad with a one-out single. Fly ball into left, hit well, bounce over the head, up crook and up against the fence. Heading for second is Kerstad, ahead of him and on to third is Westberg as Heston Kerstad has a three-hit game. He has a single, a double, and a triple. This ballpark in its 30th season, opened back in 1993. Kerstad, a high fly ball, heading deep left center field, and Heston Kerstad has taken one out. Home run the opposite way by Kerstad. Worcester Red Sox appearance. The one-two pitch, breaking ball, ripped into right. That's heading long and deep, and that one has left us. Heston Kerstad, it's his third Norfolk home run, second in as many games in this series. The Tides are back within a pair. Here's the pitch. Kerstad, it's a high drive to deep right field. Bolt is back, and he will watch that go. It is long gone out to right for Heston Kerstad. 442 feet. If they could just get some decent pitching in the half, things could change. First pitch ripping at it, Kerstad. Long fly to the alley in right center, up against the wall. Grounding third, heading home. Cows are on to third. The stump sign give it to Mount Castle. And a long fly ball. Towers out toward left center. And Kerstad has homer to begin the sixth. That was a punishing shot. Well, the second overall pick three years ago. I have to remind myself, it's Heston and not Keston. And he smacks one deep in the hole. That's short. That's out of the reach of Vaughn Grissom and threw into left field. A base hit for Kerstad. One, two. He is in the air towards the gap in left center field. This one's down for a hit. And past Sierra to the base of the wall. One run in. Here comes Norby. He'll score as well. And Kerstad with a two-run double. And Gwinnett's lead is now just a run. Here's his 0-1, swinging a fly ball, straightaway center, coasting back is Sierra, still back, he's gonna clean it over his head off the wall. Into third base, standing up, goes McKenna into second with his second double of this game is Heston Kerstad, his third hit overall. That puts the tying run in the on-deck circle. 24-year-old Kerstad, a fellow Texas native, he's from Amarillo, he'll swing and line one into right field, this ball's down. And fair into the corner. Kerstad around first base on his way to second. Let's see if he's thinking about a triple. No, he'll stop with a double. The game's first hit belongs to Heston Kerstad, the number four prospect for the Orioles, number 36 on the top 100 list. Lifted in a shallow left field. Sanchez going over the shoulder, and it hits the very top of the glove and kicks into left field. And this is going to be an air on Sanchez, and runners are going to move. From second to third goes McKenna. In the second goes Heston Kerstad. It's going to be ruled a base hit. Here's the 0-1. And it's hit on the ground sharply to second. Knocked down by Grissom. Trying to hustle the throw to first. Not in time to get him. He's safe. But Kerstad beats it out to first base. And it looks like it's going to go as a single. He scattered six hits in those five innings. As sending one straight to center field over the wall. Just underneath the batter's eye, a solo home run from Heston Kerstad has given the Tides their first lead of the afternoon. Currently playing at double-A buoy, and a few others are untouchable. Why won't they get rid of him? Because of swings like that. He drives one off the video board. A home run for Kerstad. Wow. That ball was halfway up the video board. Seventh home run for Heston Kerstad. That's that kind of talent that is going to have Kerstad in the big leagues before long. He's only been playing third, professionally in three, about 13 months. Pitch home, lined into left center. Base hit. Heading for third is Norby. He will turn and stop as the relay comes home. Pitch from Claudio into right field for a base hit. Trying for third is Norby, and the throw comes into second. Base hit by Kerstad. It's a three-hit game for Heston Kerstad. Christian University, 5'11 left-hander. Little swing and a soft flare line drive. Left field base hit for Heston Kerstad. Had a multi-hit game in game one, 
And now his third hit of the twin bill with a one out single in the opening inning here in game two. The pitch home. Fly ball well hit the opposite way. Long run back into his right. A dive. Nesloni can't get it. It's up against the wall. Kerstad rounding second. Puts on the brakes. And has a leadoff double here in the home fifth with the White Sox in 2019. Line drive at a left center. That's a base hit. Over to cut it off he is Nesloni. And that holds Kerstad to a single. But what a double header it's been for Heston Kerstad. He has reached base safely every plate appearance in this game. A single, a walk, a double, and a single. He has also scored three runs. Two strikes again. Liner in the air to center. Myers coming in. He dives, can't make the catch. The ball bounced by him all the way to the wall, 420 feet away. Kerstad spinning around second. He's hitting the third, rounding third. He comes in to score. It's an inside the park home run. 0 oh, 2 again. Little Flair again behind third, again it plops in for a base hit into no man's land. Norby races around third, comes in to score. It's an RBI single for Heston Kerstad. Why not Italian? Pitch home, Little Flair the opposite way. That one blooping into shallow left for a base hit. Kerstad turning, thinking two. Here's the throw by Tapia, the play at the bag, safe. Overall, despite those three guys in the major leagues, there's a line shot to right center field. This one could roll for a while off the bat of Heston Kerstad. It gets to the wall. Green light at third base for Colton Kowser. He's coming home, and it's an RBI triple for Heston Kerstad. And their pitching staff has held the Woo Sox to 173 as a team batting average this week as Heston Kerstad finds a hole in the left side. And he, you could argue, has had a disappointing week. That's yes. just his fourth hit in 18 at-bats, but he still feel like he's got his fingerprints all over the series. Kerstad off the leg of Bear Claw without a glove. He'll grab it. Not in time. Good effort from Kyle Bear Claw, but better hustle from Kerstad, who's two for two today. Heston Kerstad, one of their top prospects in the Baltimore system, smacks this one in the center. Another hard hit, base hit for the Tides right fielder, who is three for three. There's a deep drive to right field. Dahlbeck looking up at the Worcester wall. It is long gone. Heston Kerstad is ninth home run in Triple A, and this one's a no doubter. Payoff. Line shot right field. That's a base hit for Kerstad. Three hits yesterday. Now two today, including the first inning home run. Three-two pitch, hard hit, base knock past the dive of Koss. There are runners on the corners. Go ahead, run coming to the plate with nobody out. Over that, back at 0-3. Here's the one two pitch high fly ball well hit back on it Myers warning track whoa that one is gone. Heston Kerstad dead center field home run.